the hero faction seems pretty goddamn strong. Azazel was pretty having a pretty tough time with that Cow Cow guy. So so with this long and a spear. There's so many of them too. But who saved the day? It wasn't Issei. No, it wasn't Azazel. It wasn't Surzex who's fucking around as usual. No, guess who it was? It was drunk. Rosewife. She shows up out of nowhere after day drinking at the bar and just fucking goes blitzkrieg on them. It's got the moments like that is actually kind of funny and hype at the same time. Now I think we left off at a critical moment fighting this shadow guy. I think we already fought him once before and you say straight up doesn't even remember him. I had a hard time too, guys. I was like, wait, who is this guy? Oh yeah, it's the it's the shadow guy that we like fought for a brief time in, in like one of the intro scenes. Anyways, let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Let's go, Kuno! Oh. drive! Or just boost. Right. Elemental attack should do damage, because we can't do physical damage on him. Is this the first time we're actually using Issei's Dragon Fire? I think so. Wait. The sprinkler is just hard cucked us. The flame's not going out though. For him. Vali? Kao Kao? So so? I actually don't know. Aren't they like heroes? I didn't know this. Because I remember in the earlier seasons, I, I think Akino or Rias mentioned like people with sacred gears are usually like legendary historic figures. I didn't know they get treated like shit though. So Kaka pretty much told him that he's a good boy and now he's like, I pledge my loyalty to you. Yeah. That's kind of sad, but at the same time, it gives him fulfillment. This guy has so much issues, man. <laughs> he did the entire speech too before the attack. I just fucking one punched him. I think he's done. Straight up, I think he's done. Wow. All we had to do was uh, just use our dragon fire and punch him once. Then again, maybe I'm underestimating Issei's power right now. Rosewise is still hungover. She's fine. New Durandal? Modified Durandal? How is it modified? We'll find out in the fights later. Oh, there's Kao Kao on the top. That spear is so big. I still don't know what to call him. So so or Kao Kao? I'm gonna call him Kao Kao. Oh my goodness, mother! That cleavage is insane. But that forehead is also equally as insane. I'm sorry. What is the experiment, though? Oh. Huh? It like force activates your QB mode. With the nine tailed fox, then what? And then? Wait, he also wants to get Great Red. Vali wants to fight Great Red, but he too wants to bring Great Red here? Our boss, Vali. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Sorry, not Vali. Opus is the boss. But he's so big, like... Dragon Eater. What's a Dragon Eater? That was a lot of plot there. Okay, modified Durandal. And Saji too. What is this around him? I... We... What is the snakes around Saji? So... My alter ego is Saji. Okay, we're about to see Saji pop off. Kao Kao shoots the spear up to the sky. Oh, never mind. Was that Durandal? Oh, that was a straight up Durandal. Yo, that was an Excalibur type of move. I doubt it actually hit Kao Kao though. Oh, yo. Okay. The modified Durandal is pretty strong! <laughs> Combining Excalibur 2 with Alchemy? What is it? <laughs> okay, sure. Excalibur, Durandal, X Durandal, sure. Oh, they got buried! I thought they dodged it, okay! 
but like zero damage, unfortunate. <laughs> Those old Satans are so trash. I wish he was freed. How is he just Siegfried, man? Fucking trolling me. Alright, what does Gior got for us? A lot of magic circles. Combination of everything? Okay. He's pretty cracked in terms of his magic knowledge. Just to, I guess, make the QB stronger? I don't know. But the goal is to bring Great Red. Why can't he just be freed? I want freed back. Why does he look like him? Rosai is going to fight with him. <laughs> she's hung over. Crazy how much development he's had since uh, season one. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, five dragon kings, but it looks like a snake though, huh? It looks like a serpent. The mom's gonna be fine and don't worry. We're probably gonna grab her titties too and we'll bring her to the fucking harem. Are you? Alright, the power scaling, who knows? That's one of the cooler things about the hero faction. It's that they're all humans, you know? Humans are like weak, but still. Saji is actually cracked. All right, here we go. Next. Titties. Durandal. Boom. They're getting undressed. I thought we, I, weren't they just in like some kind of like hot spring? <laughs> Every time I, or like, like, e e oh, Chronicle's wearing green today. But you, you know how like, um, every time we visit this, these girls here, they're always just naked. Every time they're just like, gonna bath scene or something. They, they look nice. This is kind of distracting me from the hype that was being built on. What are we doing? <laughs> You're trying really hard for someone who isn't even here. <laughs> that actually hurt her! Don't remember, he triple wheeled. San Toryu. Okay! I'm not sure if that's Escalon. Alright, let's see a Zeke Freeze balance break. He just gets more arms? <laughs> Bro has six swords! He's going six sword style! Bro, I'm having a hard time keeping track of all the fucking sword names! This is ridiculous. I <laughs> look, 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 look. Okay, he's like being referenced as some kind of godlike figure, the Asura. But when you look at him, when you just look at this dude, like his balance break is just more fucking arms. He just looks kind of goofy. I don't know. <laughs> like, look at him. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay. This is eating as opponents. She swings in crystals? Oh, it's the exact opposite. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why did she have that face? What did she say like that? Oh. Damn, what the f- You can summon some kind of dragon? Pretty cool, holy sword dragon. Why does she moan balance break though? I don't really get what they mean by subspecies, because Siegfried did mention it. Just like my twice critical, the balance break is a subspecies. Okay, so this is Jeanne d'Arc. Okay. Well, at least the one that inherited her soul. This is uh, versus Drunk Rosweiss. <laughs> eh, the design is like, eh. Detonation. Is this some Bakugo shit? Like you, you punch and it explodes? Oh. <laughs> he just straight up shoots rockets out of his hands. Never mind. Nah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's a little hungover though. Bargain sale of yeah, There's a lot of balance breaks going on right now, man. You're not worthy. Oh, the BM, the disrespect. This is really impressive, man. Cow 
look how it's like still in the base form and he's still doing this. Wait, is your balance break is done? Did he just undo it? No, no, no. We got the Phoenix Tears. Is that the Phoenix Tears? I think it is. Kind of cheating, you say. Straight up, he was about to die? I didn't realize that. What? A direct hit from the Holy Spear is too much. Alright, that's a promise. We're gonna get a punch in the face. AKA Booby Dragon. Yeah, Bali does like Issei. They're like bros, man. Okay, more boost. Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, hey, his arm's cut off. Now, can you heal this, Mr. Human? Because you only have the longest spear. Can you heal? Just catches his arm. Watch him reattach it. What is that? What do you mean? You have your own Phoenix Tears? He does! The fuck? Illegal routes? Is Riser fucking selling? Is Riser selling Phoenix Tears? Oh? Eating us done? Damn. Whoa! Siegfried 2? I mean, Siegfried that have six fucking swords. Wow. We're just losing on all fronts. Rose Wise! Okay, it's not fair. Rose Wise was actually just fucking hungover. Okay, I gotta make this. Everyone else carried the body so kindly, politely, and just they just dropped in gently just now. This motherfucker just fucking tosses Rose Wise. Sensei, Main character speech. Main character speech into power up and coming. Okay, we've heard these kind of speeches from Issei multiple times. Remember, his powers are strongly tied to his emotions. Break those limits. Also, what about that potential? Could that help? Oh, oh, oh. Is that the female host? The one that gave. Oh, yeah, of course, I'd recognize those titties anywhere. <laughs> Cameraman! <laughs> Show me your face! <laughs> You're only weak, so you can have this main character speech moment. This is kind of true. He always comes short, but then he powers up. Now, use the potential. The box, the potential. That's right. We're the, we're the boob dragon. That's, what are we doing right now? That's right, the boob dragon. Okay, the potential. What does this potential do? Call for it? The boobs are gonna come down from the skies? What? Hold up, guys. What's going on? Wait. He's just summoning the zombies, the fucking booby zombies. Yeah, and they all got almost put in jail because of that. Yeah. All of them became molesters and probably have a criminal record now thanks to you. Holy shit, that's an army. What are we calling for? Yeah, like call for what? The boobs? Boobs! We just call boobs in the sky? Oh, bye! And it'll just show up? I'm an opai. Summer! Opai! What does that even mean? Okay, we pierce the heavens and then. Who is that? That's not Rias, is it? Is that Rias? It is Rias! The, the bra that she bought! Wait, we can just summon Rias now with our potential? <laughs> She's gonna help us? God damn. I mean, we did summon boobs and boobs did appear from the sky. I didn't realize it'd be fucking... I, I don't know. I didn't know it would be Rias. I thought, like, maybe, like, a pair of titties would descend from the heavens and it would, like, shoot laser beams down at Kalko and the hero faction and it would do huge damage and we would win like that. I, I don't know. Something dumb like that, but we summoned Rias. I'm not sure if we're gonna summon Akino as well. And I know for a fact we can't summon Koneko because they're still developing. One day, guys. One day Koneko will be there. What the fuck is going on? Classic high school DxD. We have these epic dramatic fights and usually the answer to our problems is some degenerate edgy shit, but it's on brand. That's why this show is so amazing. It that's how the potential is used for it. 
fucking insane. You know what's more insane? The amount of booby zombies there. Each one of them probably has a fucking criminal record, bro. What the fuck? This potential fucked them up. Moving forward, I think that we can probably beat Kaka with Rias' support. Like, he's not gonna fight Kaka, but with Rias here, I'm sure it'll act as a trigger, and then we might even go Juggernaut Tribe. Who knows? But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content, and until next time, take care.